Good morning, beautiful people. My name is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. I teach first grade for the first year and I've been in education for more than 15 years. <laughs> that's that's what I think that should be my line now, more than 15 years because just counting more than that, yeah. Anyway, um, so today I have been here on campus for the last hour and a half and just because Monday, you know, it's really busy and I'm prepping for my week so i haven't had the chance to go into my focus wall and the bell will be ringing in five minutes i do need my downtime so i'm going to go ahead and get my water ready and all that so i forgot to do my writing um copy in um our actual school printer so i'm going to go ahead and print it on my printer which is horrible just because i don't want to waste my toner but i am going to do a closet in here and it's gonna be okay it's just gonna be okay because i need it i so need it um <clears throat> i had a wonderful weekend um it was full of family and bonding and just very cool and i needed that just to come in ready oh my god the lights. that's awesome so let me show you and sorry for the noise this is um our writing for the week and i forgot to show you last week's writing i think but this is this week's this is the pre-write and then after that will be our final draft which I have not printed either. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that one to, because that doesn't happen until tomorrow. I'm gonna send it to the school's printer. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. But anyway, I'm doing a closet here just because I didn't have time to do it over there. I did make all of those copies. I just wanted to be ready for the next unit's homework. And also um, using my grammar and spelling which I've shown you before, but it's not, you know, anything fancy. It's just that, oh, I forgot my other copies there. Okay, anyway, so it's spelling on one side. Today is a pre-test and then grammar on the other. And um, this uh, week is questions and exclamation marks. Um, last week is periods and statements. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, this is lunch. <laughs> I was just in crazy because when is it not crazy? That's the question. Mm, I had an IEP that I did not know was happening today, but it was super short. It's from one of my mainstream mainstream. It's from one of my mainstream kids, and it was super fast and easy. But I just get a little panic when I don't know that it's gonna happen. And then um, kiddos are actually doing really well. We went over exclamation marks and question marks. We went over their high frequency words. What else? Vocabulary words and their spelling words. Then we covered a little bit of capitalization and I'm looking at my focus wall because that's how I keep track of this. Yeah, that's it. Um, I've also been teaching them sign language through music, so that was pretty good. I don't know why I didn't place you in my tripod, and this is just harder. I'm going to go ahead and eat. I am so tired that I did not want to go warm up my meal preps, and because in the workroom I saw a bagel, I just like grabbed a bagel, and I left my coffee brewing, and this is just going to be my lunch right now. I do plan to go to the gym after school today. I wish I would have left this for... Um, a pre-workout just because it's full of carbs but right now I just totally needed it and it's going to be okay um, yeah I only lost two pounds last week um, which makes a total of 13 now um, and it's okay I'm taking okay the first week I always lose a lot but I need to take it slow just because I don't want to stop again and fail so anyway that was just a little something <laughs> okay when they come back i want to do math just cover the core mathematics for today and then after second recess we're going to do writing and i did a print here the writing i showed you in the morning the writing that we're doing oh the pre-writing so i'm going to stop talking i'm going to eat this and i'm going to go ahead and make some copies oh, no. I 
It is Tuesday and yesterday um, I didn't close my vlog like I would have liked to, but I did have a very productive day with my kiddos. I did the math that I told you guys I was going to do, but that didn't take as long as I thought. So that was really good. And so I inserted like bits and pieces of a clip that I actually upload to Cause Dojo, but I had to cut off because of my kids, you know, um, privacy. We had the opportunity to begin our PLTW uh, module, which is adaptations. And it was a very good lesson. I just, I wasn't expecting to have time for it, but because I had prepped for it, like I think like last Monday, I was ready for it, but I never got to it. That was really good. We also ended our day, our last 10 minutes of the day discussing our writing. We did not get to um, completely do our pre-writing, but we discussed it how, you know, it has to have a beginning, a middle, and end. We talked about introductory sentence and a conclusion. Um, so this is the first time our babies are introduced, you know, to something like a paragraph. And so um, it is very much appreciated that they didn't seem so lost. So I think some of the kindergarten teachers did an amazing job with that. And I am very excited to continue on with that today. Now, um, this morning I ran off more bucket fillers. I had not refilled the drawer with bucket fillers because they weren't using their time wisely when they were doing it. Paper cut. Ow. Anyway, <laughs> they were using their time wisely and um, they were wasting a lot of the Form. So this is what it looks like, and this is from one fab teacher. I don't think this is free. I think I bought it from her. Um, so anyway, I need to look into an independent study right now. And if I haven't told you before, independent study is just um, when a child is going to be out for more than five days in our district, they allow them to um, get credit if the principal and the teacher agree to do it just because um, they might have an emergency or whatever if it's more than five days and it's approved through the office mainly. A teacher gives them work, I grade it, and then if they complete all their work, they get credit for all their five days. So I need to look into that right now because I don't like to have those pending at all. And then also Sunday night, I did look through my emails. I'm horrible at looking through emails, um, work email, and I'm going to go ahead and do that as well right now because I see a lot of incoming. I'm um, now with um, this technology world. Um, it, I love emails, but also like the fast communication. Let me get that straight. But also they serve as a tool for documentation and just very good documentation and sometimes ugly documentation that it's absolutely not necessary and like well I did tell you I sent you an email and I just hate it because I'm not the type that would check their email and until they place it in our contract then I mean I just it's not something that you know, you wake up and say, okay, let me go check my email. And maybe, and maybe you do, but I just, it's something that I don't do. And it's very unfortunate for me, to be honest. Um, see, like, <laughs> I have very old emails. Anyway, let me get update. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get update with my emails. And then I am going to look through my Tuesday drawer. Let me see what I have here. Oh my gosh, it's not a lot. What is going on here? Am I not teaching today? That's a good thing though, right? I don't have a lot of... Oh, so yeah. Um, so I'm still doing that pre-write with them. And then all I have here is the grammar and... Grammar? And spelling practice. And then today's... I know why. Because today's a really short day. And not that... I live out of worksheets, but you know what, guys? The curriculum is working really well for me right now. And I don't know if you like wonders in first grade, if you teach it, but I'm making it work for me. I don't feel like 
I don't have to use everything, but I use the majority of it and I really am enjoying it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started because I was here earlier, but I did have a parent phone call come through and I needed to take care of it as some behavior issue. I did go to the gym last night and I went to the gym this morning and I feel really good about it, but I am tired and wow, <laughs> at least this time I'm tired because I took care of myself, not because I stayed here working, I don't know how many hours, but anyway, I'll check in with you later. face than this morning I was not able to vlog and I am sitting on my counter yes I am I'm gonna say it was an off day uh, with my kiddos because I was a little bit off I think I'm a little bit exhausted with um, having gone to the gym last night gin <laughs> Wow <laughs> having gone to the gym last night and then as well this morning um, also I think that the the morning was routine was shifted because of MT, mtss which is our like intervention enrichment time in the morning school wide and because it was changed this week and we fi had finally had last week like a full week of teaching and just very amazing week um this week just changing that schedule for them i think it did something to the class i i had a vibe like yesterday after they came from mtss but then um, it shifted like I work really hard to shift it and make it really productive and pro yesterday was super productive now today not so much um, We didn't even get our grammar spelling sheet practice in today. We did take some air quizzes because it was library day um, We did do a chapter two test and go math um, And that's it. That's really it. We did a hundred mile. We obviously did enrichment and intervention groups but other than that, like I didn't get the writing in that I wanted. And yeah, I think um, it could have been more productive and I think I could have pushed for it, but I had no energy to put on my theater cap on and like push through. I didn't, I'm gonna be honest. And um, please comment below if you can relate with this because sometimes I feel awful that I didn't push through, but I just, I. I couldn't I, I was done like I was so tired we're going to have collaboration meeting right now so I just wanted to check in before the end of today and because I've only had the opportunity to vlog in the morning I'm going to go ahead and have a yogurt I did have lunch and I've been counting my macros so hopefully that goes really well I am going to the gym again um, after my meeting just because I feel that I just need to go do some cardio. I Yesterday that I was there after school, although I'm really tired, it just de-stressed me. I felt really good about um, taking care of myself. And then my daughter had fun because she goes into the kids area there, the kids zone. And so I think it was a win-win for both of us. So I'm gonna go ahead and just call it a day for today. And I'm excited too, because I invited my parents over to eat. Um, my husband left out some tilapia before he went to work. And then I cooked some rice and I'm going to go ahead and grab a salad and then we're gonna have dinner together. So that's exciting. So meeting, gym, dinner, and I'm out. I just actually walked through that door. I feel really, really happy, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I did like go to sleep last night at 7.30 and did wake up at 3.30 to go to the gym once more. Didn't go to the gym after school because our meeting ran much longer than expected and mom and dad were waiting to have dinner with me and my girls. So I had to go straight home and cook some tilapia and rice and just, you know, spend time with the family. But I am here, my 10 minute alarm is going to go off in two minutes and I just need to get my technology ready just so that um, it's ready when the kiddos come in. I didn't have time to do anything else, which is very, very unfortunate, but I, I don't know what happened. This is like the latest I've been in. And so anyway, 
it just reminds me of fourth grade last year. But anyway, I'm going to keep going. I love you guys. I'll check in with you. I don't know. I'll, I'll check in with you later. Okay, it is lunchtime and I only have a minute, but um, I just had lunch in here with one of uh, my colleagues and it was awesome uh, because we rarely get a chance to do that. But ooh, I just want to go on to say, um, because my demeanor also changed today, I want to say, like I told you yesterday, I was very tired and so it didn't go as well as I thought, but today we have gotten a lot of things done. Now, remember, this time is after lunch, and yeah, God only knows what's going to happen right now, just because sometimes just things change, you know, things change, they're tired, I'm tired, and it's nap time, can we do that, oh, do you like that, what, 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 oh, there, there, better, better, all right, take in with you later. Good morning, it is Friday, and I didn't vlog yesterday and just a little bit on Wednesday, but yesterday mainly just because I wasn't here on campus, I had to take a personal necessity. Um, so yeah, um, I feel a little bit off just because I wasn't here yesterday. And um, I know by what I see here that a lot of my stuff wasn't covered and it's totally okay because I didn't officially leave a lesson plan, I just spoke to the sub. So um, it's fine um, because as long as my kids were safe, I am good with it. Um, I feel very good, um, but I am um, very sleepy because I went to sleep very late because I was binge walk walking, binge watching a show. And let me just be honest, like I thought about it, I'm like about how horrible I will feel today um, because I wasn't getting the proper or the amount of sleep that I would want to have or that I intended to have but <clears throat> sorry but the truth is it was just so nice to for the girls to be asleep obviously it was really late but um I don't know I don't get to do that very often because I'm always with kids I'm always around kids if it's not here it's at home because I'm with my girls so I don't know and it felt like a Friday just because I was at home you know in the evening and yeah so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and see what is in my thursday bin and if you recall i started this on wednesday so this is what they got done and then today they will begin doing their writing here so i want to get that done then on my friday bin they do get their new homework today. So here are their homework packets, and then their spelling test, and then their grammar and spelling practice. I do this first before their test, just so they can get that additional time. And then I have some music stuff, um, just in case we rotate. Um, I know, I'm not sure, I haven't contacted her, so I'm not sure if we are rotating for that, but, um, for sure, that's that's what's happening today. And I'm sorry that I'm in slow motion, but I am um, tired and tomorrow is Saturday school. So hopefully I can just get in here so that I can leave right away because I have a fear it's gonna be one of those days. I do wanna put my theater hat on just because I think I need to. I'm gonna push myself to do that just because if I don't, I don't want it to be another day like Tuesday and I did not like Tuesday. And it was me more than anything, not being able to recoup after lunch and um, it wasn't very productive or as productive as I thought it would be. We got, you know, we covered stuff, but not as much as we usually do. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna let you go because today is a full day of turning in things, assessing, grading, putting down grade books so that they can get it back. And if you recall on my last vlog on Friday, I was not feeling motivated to do that. And I wanted to take my breaks. And it feels like today is gonna be a day like that, but I think I'll give them, you know, some kind of like, um, exploration time or fun Friday if you may um, so that I can get some time during class and not during my breaks just because I think I need my breaks I I've been overwhelming myself trying to get things done during my lunch and breaks that it just it exhausts me more mentally not so much physically but mentally and um, I want to use that uh, I want to be fresh for them so 
anyway if that makes sense i'm gonna stop talking because i don't think i'm making sense at all i feel like it's after school like the moment when it hits after school you're like oh my gosh thank god um just because i was off yesterday it kind of feels like i'm not gonna teach today in a saturday school i don't know it's just the weirdest feeling but um i'm gonna get going because there's a lot to do and yeah i'll check in with you later okay guys my amazing lunch yeah i'm not looking forward for it and my messy desk but it's been really busy morning so i'm trying okay. to work really hard and we did get spelling tests done we got one unit not unit one lesson and a half one and a half lesson done in math also i corrected all the homework it's back in their mailboxes it's in grade book um so collected graded Put it on great book and it's back in their mailboxes so that's really good i feel really accomplished just with that um our mtss group went well i'm going to go ahead and have lunch and then i was laughing because on my way back in from warming up my lunch um i forgot that in the morning um i was walking and i was so tired and just you know overwhelmed because i was in here yesterday i think that's what it was um that i was trying to open the door and it wouldn't unlock with my keys and i couldn't figure out why it took me a minute to realize that i was and my colleagues my team teacher room not mine mathematics test that I did on Tuesday and I hadn't had a chance to look through it um, it's a subtraction test for chapter 2 and go math um, we are moving on to chapter 3 or we moved on um, doing addition strategies back to addition now we're looking into specific strategies now I want to show you something that I decided to do because our art class was canceled and I don't think I was notified or I don't think I remember at all to be honest it's been another one of those weeks so I don't remember, but it's okay because, you know, we always have stuff to do. In this case, I did not want them to do a specific lesson. Fridays, they usually have like a fun Friday, but they don't really know that it's academic. So what I did is they had to, I pulled out, I finally got my math manipulatives, which, are, which I'm really excited about because I use them as fun Friday tools. But like I said, they don't know they're actually doing mathematics. So this is how they come. And my counter is full, and you know it's stressing me out because it's full. Part of it is part of wonders. But anyway, so these are big tubs with math manipulatives. And usually I like to print stuff where they can actually work with these things. But because I just saw them here, and our art class was canceled, and I had my mainstream students in here as well, I said, you know what, I'm not going to stress out. And I'm going to use this time to organize them and just kind of have them go into four different groups. So what I did here at table one, I set up the three-dimensional figures. And they are tracing um, what they put their papers away. But they were tracing what shapes can they come up with. So what uh, 2D shapes they can come up with. So they will write or draw um, different shapes with these then um and they were having so much fun and after they figured out how many so there are six of them in here i think no there's seven so seven of them in here so after they figured that out they were allowed to play with them and stack them and whatever they joined together and they stacked them they were supposed to what i tell them is however you get them you have to put them back in eventually um inspired through of course pocket foot primary i'm gonna come up with some kind of bin or system because these do go bad in fourth grade i mean they didn't even last 
because I use manipulatives a lot. I actually was missing not having them. So, um, and I have some that I have bought or like, you know, um, been donated a while back, but they're not, not specific stuff that I need for the class. But anyway, so what I was trying to say is I'm going to have to find another way of storing them, um, in a container maybe just because Ziploc bags or plastic bags do get very ruined. Okay. And then the ne next group, I gave them a STEM challenge with the snap cubes, connecting cubes, connecting cubes. Yes. Um, and they have a, a set of a hundred in here. So they're stacked in ten. So not only I gave them to them like this and when they were putting them away, they wanted to put them all away in single form. And I said, nope, you need to put them back exactly how you found them. So then they needed to count them by 10. So join all of them, count them by 10, sort them by colors. So that is super fun. And they, the STEM challenge was um, build the tallest building in, you know, in your group. Be the one that has the tallest building or something like that. And then, um, so it was super simple. Nothing planned, of course. And then this last one, I just got these from Target. And I, I regret not getting more. Um, they're puzzles and I think this one becomes like a sea animal. I don't know what animal it is So I don't want to lie to you guys and then I do have these connect fours which help them count Help them even with mo motor skills. So I love having those especially because they're so tiny and then um, and These ones only from Dollar Tree. I think or 99 cents or I don't remember I have them for four years now and they lasted so long and um, this one right here is another puzzle from Target. Um, and this one I want to say is a snake and it does the whole alphabet. So, you know, they're learning sorting and doing math and language arts without even knowing. The fourth group is at the rug. And what they do is they have to count money from Target as well. And then they have stuff to buy. They go grocery shopping. And so, yeah, that's fun. I mean, as much as, like, you want to think, oh, my gosh, dear, what if my principal comes in? Because I know I used to think that, and I don't know if that ever has happened to you, but I used to think, what if my principal walks in? Well, what if? They are learning, and they learn through fun as well in games. So it is a good thing that they, they get an opportunity to do that. They do get kind of loud. Um, I do bring them down a notch. I do have a bell that I do ring, and they know this is, like, my noise bell during, like, our fun Fridays um and when they hear it they know they're probably too loud and they just you know lower the volume um I don't really have voice level um system when they're doing this because they're having fun I mean how loud do adults get when we're having fun I'm just saying but anyway they're really having fun and they enjoy doing this a lot I switch it up uh, I don't always use the same things um, obviously, because I got the manipulatives this week, um, but I've been using other blocks that I had. I've been using the clocks, um, and I just give them, like, a task, and they really, really enjoy it. Even, like, the clocks, I actually put it in with the kitchen stuff last week, and they use the clocks, like, to time um, how much they're baking their um, muffins and how much time are they going to be in the oven and all that i really want to bring in a small kitchen i don't know if it's a little bit too much but i don't know i enjoyed it and of course i'm always out of breath so i'm gonna go ahead and continue trying to power through through these while they are <clears throat> in centers i've only got into one so they'll probably do another 15 three more 15 minute rotations and i just rotate them around through so everyone gets an opportunity to use all of the tools and so that will be 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 more minutes to go and plus the cleaning let's just toss in another 15 minutes five minutes each just because you know so so yeah that that would take another hour which is the hour that we need before we go home and We'll call it a day and that way the kids will take their graded homework they will take their chapter two test and they will be taking their spelling test home so that's kind of like when i do when i feel like i really don't want to take it home and grade when i feel like i have to power through some through some lessons or get something really which by the way i didn't get the writing done but i just felt like it wasn't absolutely necessary for us to get it done we did practice the pre-writing 
which I think was really good. And we're just gonna leave it at that and continue on with our lives with unit one, week five next week. And then if we can power through and do the pre-write as well as the writing, then that's a plus. I'm not gonna stress out about it because it's not like the kids have been sitting here playing basketball. And even if they did, we will find a way to use mathematics with it, but they won't be playing basketball all day. Anyway. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go ahead and go pick, pick them up in five minutes. Um, and then um, I'll probably power through maybe two more tests of grading. I mean, I know, I don't know if you ever felt this, but it feels like I don't wanna grade, I don't wanna do it. And I know you're not, grading is not, gosh, like creating a bulletin board for me. I enjoy creating bulletin boards. But um, it's, if you just start with one, then we realize, oh my gosh, I should have done this a long time ago. You know, you know how it feels. You know the feeling. So I'm just going to go do one at a time, take it in small, you know, portions. And we'll see if I finish them by the end of the day. This, These do take a little longer just because I like to see what strategy they miss and then what should I cover. And I usually just do my own notes on the side, like... I didn't cover this and if I feel especially if I feel like they all got it wrong I'm like yeah I need to review this um, more or maybe I didn't even cover it and I need to you know go in detail with it I'm gonna stop talking but that's what I do I don't like do specific students I just do kind of like groups and I feel like I kind of sort them into them and I just write a note so that when I'm doing small guided math small groups and guided math um, I know what to target with those students Anyway, I'm going to stop talking again. <laughs> I always say that and continue on. I'm going to stop now and okay, continue. Okay, I have to leave early today because um, my sister has to get home because she goes to her graduate classes today and she we carpool together. But before I go, I did want to check the empty bins that I have here just so that I can see what I may use or not, I have some down there as well, for my math manipulative. So what I'll do is I'll take a picture and then um, figure out what I'm going to need to store them or not, or how I'm going to store them. I might even use all that space at the bottom to store my math manipulatives, which by the way, I don't like doing. And these right here are just empty folders, so I might just move them or give them away and then just kind of use that area there. Hmm. That might work out. Yeah, that might work out. So let me take a picture and then I'll probably check in with you tomorrow because I'm coming in for Saturday school um, so that I may organize this math manipulatives and go ahead and clear my calendar. I obviously didn't have time. Um, all the stuff is back there. Also, I forgot to show you my shirt. Get your crayon. I think I've you've seen it before. But um, also, I did grade all the math tests and everything went home today. So I'm like super happy about that. I'm just very tired gonna go home pick up my daughter no drop up my sister pick up my daughter and just go home and relax we might pick up something for dinner and yeah we're gonna call it a day for today good morning it is saturday and i have special helpers we are a lot late so i don't know how much i can get done but for sure i want to tackle the manipulatives and then the copies that i need for monday so those are my two priorities right now and i do have special helpers I'm so glad she's sleeping. And then special helpers over there. But anyway, so my husband and my daughters are with me. Let's see how fast we can get this done. My hair is up and I've been at the rug trying to figure out and sort things out. I promise you, like I had organized all that, but someone is helping me with everything and things happen. Okay, so this is what I came up with uh, because I didn't want to go out and purchase a lot, and but I do want to make sure students have access to manipulatives and I have access for them for specific lessons. These are very difficult to find at Dollar Tree, I'm assuming, because Pocketful Primary made them really famous. But um, uh, these are the sandwich containers from Dollar Tree, and I only have 
eight of them and I needed 12 because so I want to sort these in let me start by that I want to sort these in our three-dimensional figures but in order for that to happen I would need a little monster to stop doing what she's doing and also I need four additional containers so I'll probably be looking for them if my husband doesn't find them because he stepped out to go see if there's some at the Dollar Tree close to us so that's that then over here let me go ahead and turn so what camera. I did with these um, pencil what are they containers right here I used them to sort out the stuff that I was storing in these um, which is usually my stuff like magnetic um, shapes that I use on the board or I allow my students to use in centers. So those are fine if they stay there because when we use them, they're not used as a whole class, they're used in centers. So I can always keep them like that. I will label everything, so that's gonna take me a while. So that's what happened with those containers. Then these, like I was saying, I want to sort out my three-dimensional figures, so I need 12 of those, and I had them nicely stacked, I promise. Then everything else happened. What are you doing? Are you helping mommy? Oh, marker. We better be careful with that. Let me have it. Thank you. I had these stacked in six and what they are, they're the snap cubes. So I made sure there were 80 of them in there so that students can have access to 40 at a time. And that container will be for two students. And that's why I need 12. And so my husband went to see if he can find four of those. Then I asked him for another set of 12 of these same containers, Dollar Tree as well, um, so that we can store these right here. So these have a lot of different shapes in it, but there it's a big package. And so I want those same containers for these. Then these right here, I'm not sure yet because they're not, they don't occupy that much space, but I don't know what container to use for these so i think i'm gonna leave them like that for now until i can figure it out and go to the dollar tree myself those are all the 3d shapes snap cubes i still need some containers and then these i do have some of these because if you remember um if you've seen my last vlogs i have tons of these because i order from online bulk and not only did i have enough for my students colors but also um i have two additional sets so I use the green ones, let me show you. So the set came with, <clears throat> I won't show you the top because it has my students' information. But um, yeah, that's what I use one set for of 24. And then I have 24 red ones and 24 blue ones. So I will make them to good use. And what I'm gonna do is use these, 12 of these so a student can share and then use the other set for these. And then my husband finished doing these before he left and it will be storing our units and our tents. So that's that. And then my husband just took everything else so that I can see what containers I had. And of course, yesterday when I said I was gonna take pictures, my sister came in and said, let's go. And so I never got to take a picture, so that's why I didn't know exactly what I needed. So this is it. And then one more thing I wanna show you, the additional units are in here. And I bought these at the 99 cent store. I wanna say for $3.99, They're, this is a tool organizer. And they fit to the T, they're perfect for this. And what I'll do with these two, because I only have two, let me go ahead and grab the other one. What I'm going to do with these two is one I'll keep, 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 one I will keep by my guided math group. And then the other one I will use for centers or fun Friday. So anyway, I thought that was cool. I don't need to use them, but since I had storage, thankfully, and I've already figure out how to store the rest of them over there in those blue bins or containers, then I will go ahead and just store these away when, until they become useful to us um, during our groups or rotations. Okay, 
So what I did right now, I actually, I might be able to find one of these because I was able to store in here one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, eleven. I just need one more. I want to go home and eat to be honest we did make some sandwiches oh you see that this one's not close oh, i was missing the other part i don't know where it is so i have to do that okay i'm not completely done and things are not labeled which is annoying but i feel like 80 percent better that my counter is and my counter is clear yay clean um so here i stored the what are these the counters and then i have my 3d figures here see how i had to go find where else i could get them from because i had i was storing other stuff of mine so i'm gonna have to find a home for book rings which i already do but you know i it was so easy to do it when i had it my husband can could not find any of these um he wasn't able to find a different color of these containers so all I used them for was the connecting cubes, and they're like right here on the side of my manipulatives, right beside it, because they're too big. Um, so anyway, that works for me. I don't care. Anyway, I couldn't figure out what continues to use for these, so they're just sitting there. Believe me when I say they're not going to last, but for now, it's going to work. Just at least they have a spot, and I can see what I have. Then I have my clocks there. The program does have clocks that they provide us, but they are paper, and they don't last, so... I just rather have these. These bags are not going to last either. But um, he couldn't find, like I said, these containers in another color. And I did not want red because this is already driving me nuts where I have my tan grams in here in the blue containers. And then I have also my magnetic letters and numbers on blue containers. It drives me crazy as well as my units and my tens in red containers and my counters on red containers so that's annoying me so much but there's nothing i can do about it right now except um for being grateful right now that this was done while my husband was finishing up some of the containers he's listening to music anyway so um, I was printing out my grammar copies and spelling that I do daily. I'm pulling out. This is the, um, let's see if that works. If I, can I focus or no? Let's see. Yeah. So yes. So that's what I use for my writing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the unit one week five of next week. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and then, um, yeah, I'm going to get going. All I have to say right now is thank you so, so much for watching. And sorry for the background noise, but you know, that's what happens when you're a mommy. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I'm going to go ahead and try to upload tonight. Before I let you go, I do want to say that I went on Scholastics and on Amazon to order some behavior books. I did buy that one book. Thank you so much for recommending it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look and... Um, I'll go ahead and give you a shout out right now and so anyway thank you so I'm much i'm gonna go ahead and call it a day i'm going to go ahead and try to upload tonight thank you so much for watching as always please take care go ahead and press like comment below and subscribe thank you so much for